We're in the middle of our 3,000 kilometer road trip. We're in Mitchellstown, Victoria. And today we're looking at the Ashton Tower, the vineyards around us. We've got beautiful wine cafe and a gallery inside. But now let me talk about the latest modification I've done on the Nissan X-Trail. This is the Atom Power 200 watt bifacial solar panel from Vic Off-Road. There's three things I like about this panel. Number one is the fact that it's bifacial. Bifacial meaning the main panel on the top collects 200 watts and the panel underneath collects 105 watts. It collects it via the um, ambient light. So depending on light conditions, it can collect up to 15% more power. For my setup, this panel is perfect because it's kind of elevated from the roof and my roof rack is a mesh roof rack, which means that light can, like this, like this one today, full sun can hit the roof of the X-Trail and reflect or bounce ambient light underneath that 105 watt panel which then gives me extra power. The second thing I like about this panel is the fact that it's a shingled panel. So the shingled panel is wired in parallel and because of how it's, how, how it's wired you don't get the problem with the other panels wherein if you get a bit of shade on part of the panel it drastically affects the power produced by the panel. Whereas with this one and the way it's wired up being shingled you can have part shade on the panel and you get way more from the actual panel. It is very efficient. A shingled panel also produces around 15 to 20% more power than your traditional panels. Now the third thing I like about this panel is the fact that it's all black. It's got black alloy trims around and just the look of the panel is just mainly black. It looks sleek and it just looks nice. Now the panels come with mounting brackets which I made it work with my existing roof rack with a bunch of screws and with help from my best mate George we managed to fit it on and screw it on to my existing roof rack. It worked perfectly. The panel itself only weighs 12 kilograms which is absolutely right for a vehicle like this. We want minimal weight on the roof. And lastly the panel is IP68 waterproof rated. How did I wire up the solar panel? Well, pretty simple. The panel comes with a lead behind it and it terminates into an MC4 connector which is pretty common for solar panels. So I had to buy or custom make a MC4 to Anderson plug lead and I fed it through uh, the top of the uh, boot hatch of the X-Rail and then into the vehicle and then out down the bottom here. Because I'm going to be using it to charge the 200 amp hour lithium battery that I have in the caravan, I'm running a lead from here. Then it goes into another Anderson plug, which, which then goes into the caravan. Now, forget about the caravan for now. If you are charging, if you're going to use it to charge your battery in the boot of your vehicle, all you have to do is basically the same thing. So MC4 to Anderson plug, for example, and you need what's called a DC to DC charger. In my case, I've got a 40 amp DC DC charger, King's brand, pretty cheap, pretty reasonable. and then it goes into my battery. So in a nutshell, that's basically the, what you need. So solar panel, a DC-DC charger, and then DC-DC charger will deal with the charging of your lithium battery. A very important thing to take note of is the gauge of the cable. A lot of people get this wrong and it's, it's really simple, okay? Especially if you're gonna run a longer lead, so say from five meters up, um, and personally, I'd, I'd do it from four meters up, so I'd get a six gauge cable, which is what I've got, really thick, big cable. Now, the previous cable that was in the caravan, it was melted. Like this, that was a perfect example of an undersized cable, really dangerous. There's a lot of fires in four drives caused by under gauged cables. Well, how did the actual test work? At partial sun, the panel gave me roughly about three to 3.3 amps of power at just over 50 watts. Full sun, it gave me just under 11 amps of power at about 165 watts. I think it's time to head out to the cafe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next modification video.